What is the 80-50 problem? The 80-50 problem refers to situations where children become hikikomori, suffer from acute social withdrawal, for an extended period of their lives. Their parents who look after them grow old, into their 80s, but must continue to care for their children who are now in their 50s. Hence the 80-50 problem. In Japan, this phenomenon has become a significant problem over the last decade. The first time the growth in numbers of hikikomori was officially recognized as a societal problem in Japan was in the 1990s. Often beginning with bad experiences and a following lack of attendance at school, it is an issue that was originally seen only to affect younger people. There may be many reasons for someone to become a hikikomori, from perceived failure at school or work or bullying, to poor interpersonal skills leading to a lack of meaningful relationships. Time has passed and without any solution to the problem, it has become evident that this issue is not one that only affects younger people. A lot of the younger hikikomori have managed to survive thanks to the efforts of their parents. However, as the parents get older and or pass away, further serious problems of poverty and loneliness amongst these families have begun to surface. In this specific video, a hikikomori woman's mother passed away. The woman managed to support herself alone for a year afterwards, but eventually fell victim to a lonely death. A daughter who passed away soon after her beloved mother's death. The scene of another lonely death. Adult hikikomori, the 80-50 problem. A year after her mother's death, a daughter passed away as if from a broken heart. This is indicative of a society wide issue Japan is currently grappling with. Middle and old age hikikomori, the 80 50 problem. When the parent passed away, the now alone daughter fell victim to kodokushi, lonely death. The inside of the home was closed off from the outside world. Specialized cleaning begins to remove unwanted odors and restore the property. There is a risk of the spreading of viruses as scenes of lonely deaths and so protective clothing is required. Disinfection begins to remove viruses and the smell of decomposition. While clearing, we found something unusual. A large amount of handwritten notes in the drawer. Mum, good morning. You went to sleep and I tried to wake you up. I was supposed to sleep here. I was a little lonely. Anyway, I'll go to sleep. All the notes showed appreciation towards her mother. 
it appears they both looked after each other and got along well. But it seems that wasn't always the case. A note that was titled, Written Oath. I'll stop saying I'm going to kill myself. I won't do anything that hurts my mother. Notes showing the internal conflict of the daughter. It was the sister-in-law of the daughter who called us out today. Once her mother, who was her emotional support, passed away, the daughter began drinking again. Concert tickets. The cage for a dog that passed away years ago. Almost as if the toy inside is a replacement for the beloved dog. For the daughter, her mother and her dog must have been irreplaceable parts of her life. The room she passed away in. There is decomposition fluid soaked into the mattress. And next to her bed, what must have been her mother's fdom, still remaining as it was. To prevent odor leakage and stop the risk of infection, the fluid-soaked mattress is tightly sealed and packaged before removal. The Butsudan Buddhist altar is handled carefully as it will be used for a memorial service. According to a survey in 2018, there are approximately 610,000 hikikomoris aged 40 and over in Japan. Being a hikikomori is not just a problem for the young. Kansai Clean Service